hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be making the floral mesh um dress that you have seen at the beginning of the video uh the materials that you're going to need are alice cotton gold this is the one that i used for this project and then um you're also going to need a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors and lastly a darning needle to weave in all your ends so um for this project i used uh catania this is uh yarn from hobby yarns but for this uh tutorial we are not going to be using the same exact yarn this is Maserai's cotton yarn and it gave me a really good result but i wanted to give a try to uh to this yarn because it's readily available in my country at least i have some suppliers so i wanted to give this a try and i see the final outcome so this is um 100 grams and it's 361 yards which i believe you need about two to three balls to complete the project i think two are enough and then the other thing is it's 55% uh, cotton and 45% acrylic so that's what we are going to be using for this tutorial so for those who would like the written pattern it's already available on my Etsy shop as well as Ravelry and let's get started and see how this works out so you're going to start off with a slip knot And you're going to make a chain of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So when you have your 10 chains, you're going to make a treble crochet. So for a treble crochet, this you yarn over twice, you'll have three loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the very first chain that you made, yarn over, pull through. You will have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So this is how you do your uh, treble crochet. So this marks the end of row one. This is very easy. So we're going to row two. You're going to chain eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn your work, single crochet into that chain 10 loop, chain four, and treble crochet into the same space. So yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So this is the end of row two. This project is worked from top to bottom. So after this, you're going to chain one, turn your work, this is row three, single crochet into the first chain four space, chain three, a uh, v-stitch into the single crochet so for this project a v-stitch is uh, one treble crochet chain five and one more treble crochet so yarn over twice insert your hook into the single crochet pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and then chain five and then one more treble crochet into the same single crochet below. Like that. And then you're going to chain three and single crochet into that last space, the chain eight space from the previous row. So this is the end of row three. So we are going to row four. And for row four, we start off with a chain of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your work 
and treble crochet into the same single crochet. So this will create our very first V-stitch. You can see the shape. It resembles this one that we created from the previous row. So after your V-stitch here, you're going to chain three, single crochet into the V-stitch. This is a V-stitch. So you single crochet in that space, chain three, and into the last single crochet, you're going to place a V-stitch. So one treble crochet, chain five, and one more treble crochet. So remember I told you, let's first pause here. A treble crochet is one treble crochet, chain five, one treble crochet. That's what a treble crochet is. And this chain 10, whenever we start with a chain 10, that counts as one treble crochet, chain five. Keep that in mind. Just try to remember that. It will make the pattern way easier. So we're going to row five. And for row five, you're going to chain uh, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn your work, single crochet into the first V stitch. Yeah? And then chain three, one V stitch into the next single crochet. So it's one treble crochet, chain five, one treble crochet into that single crochet chain three one single crochet into the next v stitch remember i told you this was a v stitch so you place your single crochet in there and you should see that your work is not yet balanced make sure you balance the right and the left side always so after this you're going to chain four and place your treble crochet into the same exact space so at this point, you can see the work is now balanced. We have a V-stitch and we have these two loops on the sides. So we're going to row one, two, three, four, five. We're going to row six. And for row six, you're going to chain one. Turn your work, single crochet into that chain four space. Chain three, V-stitch into the next single crochet. chain three, single crochet into the next V-stitch, chain three, V-stitch into the next single crochet, and then you're going to chain three, and then single crochet into the last space. You should always check how you started your row so that you end your row the same exact way. For example, for this row, we start with a single crochet. That means you have to have it in mind that you have to end your row with a single crochet. So we're going to row seven, and for row seven, we start with a chain of 10, which counts as a treble crochet chain five, Turn your work and place one more treble crochet into that single crochet at the beginning of your row. So we've created our very first V stitch, chain three, single crochet, chain three, V stitch into the next single crochet. Like that chain three single crochet into the next V stitch chain three and V stitch into the last single crochet Yeah. 
So this is what you have for row seven. And now for row eight, you're going to chain eight. Row eight is going to be uh, the same as row, row five. So you chain eight, turn your work, single crochet into the first V stitch, chain three, triple crochet into the next uh, single crochet, chain five, and triple crochet again into the same single crochet to create a V stitch, and then chain three single crochet into the next V stitch, chain three, V stitch into the next single crochet, yeah, and then chain three, single crochet into the next V stitch, and then chain four, and triple crochet into the same exact space. You can see that happening at row five. That's the same exact thing that we did. Just that now the work is a bit wider. So that is for row eight. And for row nine, you're going to chain one, turn your work. You're going to single crochet into the first uh, chain for space. And row nine is going to resemble row six. Yeah, row nine is going to resemble row six. So after you single crochet into the first chain for space, you're going to chain three and place a V stitch into the first single crochet. Like that. And then you're going to chain three, single crochet into the V stitch, chain three, V stitch into the single crochet. So it keeps getting easier because when you come to the middle section, every single crochet gets a V stitch and every V stitch gets a single crochet and everything is separated by chain three spaces. So after your V-stitch, chain three, single crochet into the, into the uh, V-stitch, and then chain three. This is a single crochet, so it gets a V-stitch. So V-stitch into the single crochet. And don't forget, a V-stitch is one treble crochet, chain five, one treble crochet. And then you're going to chain three, and into this very last space, you're going to place a single crochet. That's how we end our row. Now we are going to the next row, which should resemble row seven. So we are going to row 10 and row 10 should look like row seven. So we are going to chain 10 which counts as a treble crochet chain five, turn your work, place a treble crochet into the same single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the next V stitch, chain three, V stitch into the next single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the next V stitch, chain three, V stitch into the next single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the next V stitch, chain three, and into the last single crochet, which is this one, you're going to place your V stitch. So one treble crochet, chain three, 
sorry, chain five, and then one last treble crochet. That is row 10. So we're going to row 11. So for row 11, you're going to chain chain eight, and then you're going to single crochet into the first V-stitch. Row 11 should be uh, the same as row, let me see, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, as row eight, row 11 should be the same as row eight. So after this, you're going to chain three, place a V-stitch into the single crochet. Chain three, single crochet into the next V-stitch. Chain three, single crochet, sorry, V-stitch into the next single crochet so after your v-stitch you're going to chain three after your chain of three you're going to single crochet into the next v-stitch chain three v-stitch into the next single crochet Chain three, single crochet into the last chain 10 space. And you can see the work is not yet balanced. That means we need to chain four and one more treble crochet into the same space. So I think now it's making some sense to you and I hope you're achieving the triangular shape. So we are going to row 12 and this is going to be my final row. So you're going to keep working these rows. Uh, for row 12, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Single crochet into the first chain four space. Chain three. One V-stitch into the first, the next single crochet, sorry. So one, two, three, four, five and treble again. So we've made a V-stitch in the single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the V-stitch, chain three, um, V-stitch into the single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the V-stitch, Chain three, V stitch into the single crochet. Okay, chain three, single crochet into the V stitch. Chain three. V stitch into the next single crochet. Okay, chain three and one single crochet into the last chain eight space. And this is going to be my final row. You're going to keep alternating between these rows until this measures quarter of your bust measurement. So let me get my measuring tip. And my bust measurement is 32. I should make sure that this measurement measures eight inches. You can see that. When, okay, you can stretch it a bit, but it should be about eight inches even when it's not stretched. Make sure you're almost getting your uh, the quarter of your bust measurement, even when it's not stretched, because you don't want it to be very tight around your bust. So this is what I have, and I've done a total of 12 
uh, rows all together. So we're going to keep repeating row 8, 9 and 10, 8, 9 and 10 until you get that measurement and this applies to the bigger sizes. Uh, I'm sure you're not going to stop here so you just keep repeating 8, 9 and 10 and I'm going to put timestamps in the comment section and I'm going to pin that comment. Every time you get to the row that you want you just click on that timestamp so that it takes you to that point where you need to start from. So these are my 12 rows and you're going to go ahead and make a duplicate of this same exact piece so that we have two pieces. Here we are. You will have two pieces that are identical. And we've ended it with a single crochet after our chain three here. So um, after this, you're going to chain one and cut your yarn. I've already cut mine. So you're going to just pull through and you're going to leave a strand here. This is for attaching our second bra cup. So you're going to go ahead and do the same exact process for your second bra cup. I'm here working my um, last row on my second one. So I'm placing my last V-stitch of my second bra cup and after this you're going to chain three and place your last single crochet into that space. So you can see we have two identical panels, don't mind this. But we have this chain here ready for attaching. So you're going to just remove your hook from here. Don't cut your yarn from the ball. Leave it connected to the ball of yarn. And when you come here, all you're going to do is to go into this single crochet that we last placed on our first panel. And then go into the next single crochet on the opposite side and just pull through. I don't know how you prefer to attach yours. You can use a knot, you can use a darning needle, that's really up to you. But I just used a slip stitch and then chained one. And then I'll weave in these ends later on. Don't just cut them because they have a tendency of getting loose and then the whole dress just falls apart. So it's better use a darning needle to go into uh, different stitches so that you secure this loose end. Otherwise the dress may uh, fall apart after selling it to someone, which we don't want. So this is how everything looks like. So the next step is to turn this into a dress. Okay, so after joining this part together, you're going to get back to this strand that you didn't cut at the end of the second um, bra cup because these are the cups for this dress so you're going to get back to this uh, string it's still attached to the ball and then you're going to chain you're going to make a chain so that uh, the whole circumference of our circle is our hip measurement so here, you already have a measurement here. Let me get my measuring tip. So if you can figure out how long this piece is when stretched, because it's going to be a kind of like a body hugging dress, but don't over stretch it because you don't want your skin to be popping out of these holes. So you stretch it a bit. I have about 
18 inches you can see that about 18 inches so if my hip measurement is about like 36 that means I need to do a chain of 18 more inches so that I can get 36 inches if my measurement is 40 and right now I have 18 then I have to do some more inches so that the whole circumference is uh, 40 inches but consider hip measurement here because if you don't your dress is going to stop around your stomach and won't be able to get through through the hips so you're going to make a chain that can make the circumference go up to your hip measurement so for me that was 80 chains and I'm going to do that and that chain should be a multiple of 10 make sure you note that you can either do 80 90 100 110 those are the multiples of 10 the chain should be a multiple of 10 so for me I'm going to do um, 80 chains and then I'll get back to show you what to do next so after my 80 chains yeah after your 80 chains or whatever number that you needed to get your hip measurement uh, you are going to go into the very first single crochet on this side and you're going to make a slip stitch so that's how everything looks like you have the bra cups here and then you have the chain now we're going to start working in rounds from now on we are no longer working in rows we are going to start working in rounds so uh, round one you are going to chain 10 and then treble crochet into the same single crochet so that creates our very first v-stitch and then you're going to chain three go into the next v-stitch with a single crochet okay chain three go into the next uh, single crochet with a v-stitch chain three single crochet into the next V stitch so every V stitch gets a single crochet and every single crochet gets a V stitch that's uh, the best way I can explain this because we keep alternating between the two whenever there's a single crochet we place a V stitch whenever there's a V stitch you place a single crochet in it so you're going to repeat this let me show you up to here so chain three V stitch chain three single crochet chain three V stitch chain three single crochet and then chain three and you see this place is oh, the place where you joined your two bra cups somewhere there I'm going to go into that space with a V stitch so I'm going to just find somewhere to place my hook and I place my V stitch and another triple crochet okay so this is what everything looks like and then you're going to chain three and single crochet into the next V stitch chain 
chain three. Um, v stitch. Sorry, this was a single crochet. So after your V stitch here, you're going to chain three, single crochet into the next V stitch, chain three, single crochet, in, sorry, V stitch into the next single crochet. It really gets confusing when you're trying to explain because you're repeating the same exact terms. But the best way to know what to do is to alternate between the two. And uh, between every single crochet and this stitch, there's a chain three. That's the best way to remember this pattern. So you're going to repeat that all the way until we get to the chain. So we are almost getting to the chain and I'm going to chain three and our chain starts after a single crochet. That means that single crochet should get a V stitch. So this is what your work should look like. And now we're going to be walking across the chain that we created at the back of our dress. All right, so after placing your last V stitch and now you've reached the chain part, you're going to chain three and then count one, two, three, four and into the fifth, you're going to place one single crochet and then chain three count one two three four and into the fifth chain you're going to place your v stitch so one treble crochet chain five and another treble crochet into the same exact chain like that and then chain three count one two three four and into the fifth you're going to place your single crochet there chain three prepare for a treble crochet and then one two three four and into the fifth we are going to place a v stitch so one treble crochet chain five and another double uh, another treble crochet into the same exact space so this is how we do it you're going to repeat this all the way across and i'll meet you guys back towards the end of your row you're going to repeat this until you get somewhere here. So we've made it all the way around for our round one and you should be left with a total of one, two, three, four. Four stitches here. And you're going to chain three after your last V stitch and chain three, after a single crochet here, you're going to chain three and then go into the fifth chain of the 10 chains that you did at the beginning of your round. So one, two, three, four, five. So into the fifth chain, you're going to place your slip stitch and that marks the end of round one. And then uh, for round two, we are going to first slip stitch twice into this V stitch, the very first V stitch, chain one and single crochet into that same V stitch. And then you're going to chain three and turn, turn your work. And you're going to place one V stitch into the first single crochet. So treble crochet, chain five and then treble crochet again in the same single crochet and then you're going to chain three 
single crochet into the next V stitch chain three treble sorry uh, V stitch into the next single crochet so one treble chain five and another treble and you're going to go all the way around doing this so chain three single crochet into the next V stitch chain three V stitch so that means here we're going to chain three single crochet chain three and V stitch into the next single crochet and you're going to go all the way around and I'll meet you guys back when we are almost at the beginning of our round where we started round two all right so I have placed V stitches all the way around my work and now we are going to chain three after your last V stitch here remember we started our row from here so in this single crochet that we placed here you're going to go into it with a slip stitch and that's how we wind up round two so uh, we're going to round three round three starts with a chain of ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then you turn your work so you're going to go into the same exact single crochet where you placed your slip stitch you're going to go into it with a treble crochet and that forms our very first V stitch and then you're going to chain three single crochet into the next V stitch chain three and then place a V stitch into the next single crochet so this one remains almost constant this is the same exact thing that we do for all rows the only difference is the beginning and the end of the rows changes so after your treble crochet you're going to chain five and then place a treble crochet into the same stitch to create a V stitch so this is what we have you're going to repeat that all the way around until you get to the beginning of your round somewhere around here after placing your single crochet in this last V stitch I'll show you how to wind up your row okay so I'm almost coming to the end of the third round and I'm going to chain my three and single crochet in this V stitch this is the very last V stitch of round two so after this you're going to chain three and after your chain three you're going to go into the fifth chain of the chain ten so one two three four five and into the fifth chain you're going to place a slip stitch so that creates a V stitch as well as the chain three before the V stitch and you can see how your work should look like and for round uh, four we are going to repeat round two I hope you remember how to do that you slip stitch twice then you're going to chain one and single crochet into the same space and then you're going to chain ten sorry you're going to chain three and turn your work and place a V stitch in this very first single crochet This is how your work will look like this is round four so chain three and single crochet into the next V stitch and everything else is the same so we are going to keep alternating between round two and round three round three is the one that we just finished and then round two is this one that re resembles round four so that means all the even rows are going to be the same and the odd rows are also going to look the same 
So you're going to repeat that all the way down until you get the length of the dress that you want. So this is how my dress turned out. Um, the green one is a demonstration, but this is how the purple turned out. The first green was sold off, but uh, you'll repeat the two rounds until you get the length that you want for your dress. You can see the pattern is very rich and detailed. That's how everything looks like. And you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want. That's really up to you. And this can also be a tank top because I can imagine if someone wants it as a top, like in vest form, they would stop around here and they don't have to go all the way down to make it a dress. It can be a beach cover up. Some people may put lining in it to make it an actual dress. That's really up to you. You can do so many things with this uh, design. Oh, and don't forget um, the written pattern is available on both Etsy and Ravelry. I'll be leaving the link in the description box. And if you would like to see some of my other dress designs, uh, you can click on the playlist on the screen somewhere on the left or right of the screen. It will be there and you can try out the several different uh, dress designs that I have created for you guys. And yeah. And I hope you guys had fun creating this dress with me. I can't wait to see your versions of this dress and I will see you in my next video. Bye.